Hey folks, we're finally having a really beautiful summery day up here in the mountains. You might find it hard to believe, but we've had almost solid rain for a month now. Today's the first nice day, even though there is still a 30% chance of rain. So I'm gonna try to get some things done. And one of them is getting into the beehives. As you can see behind me, I only have one hive right now. And that's because two hives did not survive the winter. It's kind of sad. It's my first hive loss since being in Colorado. Two might seem like a lot, but the national average is 50% hive loss on an annual basis amongst all beekeepers. I think that the hive loss had to do with the fluctuating temperatures that we had. Later on in the spring, when we had those cold snaps, they weren't able to access the honey that was in the hives. Uh, it looks like it was starvation. Because of the rain, I haven't been able to get into the hive to see how they're doing yet this spring. And so today's my first opportunity to get in there. I so already see an issue. And that is, look how tall the grass is in front of the hives. That's terrible. I'm gonna try to clear out some of that, but we have had a solid month of rain, so it does make sense. Try to pull out some of this grass. Okay, well, this should, that should make the access a little bit better. It is pretty breezy today and the clouds are blowing in, so we might be getting rain soon. Don't plan to do a lot of hanging out in the hive. Just gonna see if they need more room, which they probably do. They're not really taking up a lot of the nectar in the feeder. A few of them are, so I might put it back on, but they might need another super. I can feel the warmth coming out of the hive. Definitely nectar in there. Well, we got nectar in here, so they're definitely pulling in some nectar this season. But I can tell you that they're almost filled all the way out to the edges, so they definitely need another super on top. Well, good news is that bees are bringing a nectar and um, they seem to be wanting to expand, although they probably don't have the resources just right now because it has been a lot of rain, but they're definitely ready for the next super. So I'm gonna put that on. I'm also gonna put the feeder back on for now because they were in the feeder. I just need to freshen up the, the syrup that's in there. That will help them build more comb so they can put up more honey. So I'm putting in a super that already has built out frames and that way the bees don't need the resources to build more wax. So that definitely saves them a step. I'm recycling frames from my other hives that didn't make it. So they can have a fresh place to store more honey and putting the feeder back on. Okay. All right. Well, they should be good for a few more weeks. I'll keep an eye on it. Hopefully, the sun comes out and stays out. That would be amazing. So we can get that many more wildflowers. I have been posting about super blooms. Wildflowers season is just starting. So stay tuned. It's going to be looking amazing. So the good news is that the bees are looking pretty strong. It's nice to see that with the one hive that I do have that um, they are putting up a lot of honey and they are expanding their hive. For me, beekeeping isn't really about honey collection. I don't sell honey. And at 9,000 feet, it's hard to collect a lot of honey in a season. If you're new to the channel, you might not know that I have a different business related to beekeeping. And I'll show you real quick what that's about. So what is my beekeeping related business? Well, it's actually jewelry. So I take pieces of honeycomb from the hive and I do a copper plating process to make copper plated honeycomb jewelry. And this is what I sell at art shows on the weekends all around Colorado. In fact, um, I do copper plating for honeycomb. I also do the copper plating process on rings. So I'll take nice stones and make really cool copper, copper rings and copper honeycombs that people really love. It is a very complicated process to do copper plating. I've done some videos on it before, 
but um, I'll tell you one of the steps is related to polishing the copper and for that I use a tumbler. Now I've been using a tumbler that uh, I've had since I was in high school, okay? It's very old, right? It's rubber and a lot of times when it's tumbling, you'll get some of the blackness of the rubber coming off onto my pieces. I've been meaning to upgrade for a while. And thanks to one of our channel sponsors, the company Viva sent me a brand new tumbler. So I just wanted to shout out big thanks to them today for sending me a brand new device that uh, as a serious upgrade. It does have a clear barrel, so you'll be able to see what's going on inside the tumbler. It has a super easy open system to be able to take the lid off. This, the old one, had a gasket and an inner lid, which I used to have to use a, a screwdriver to kind of get it fitted in there, and it still leaked. The next step is to fill your barrel with steel shot. I also add some Windex to help clean up the metal and get all the gunk off. And then you can fill up with your pieces. Now, these pieces are already finished, but I'll just demonstrate using a couple of them what it looks like. So, and then you can fill it with a little bit more water. Replacing the lid is super easy. The bar can go right through the outside, through the middle. And then it goes on to the rollers. What I like about this model is that there's no belt you'll have to replace. It, it operates with a timer. There's five different speeds that you can do. I'm gonna start off on the first speed as I turn it on. I'm turning on the uh, minutes right here so I can twist my timer. Now I know that the power is connected with the on button and then there's two choices to turn it on. There's like a forward and a reverse. Now I can keep a really good eye. It's not excessively loud either. So if you stop it and then you can also go in reverse direction. And if you needed to stop it suddenly, you can hit that button or you can go to the pause pause button on the right control. And then you can go to a faster speed. But thanks again to Beaver for sending this because it's such a serious upgrade. You don't know how much I was piecemealing my situation before. So I'll put a link in the video description to the the Viver polisher tumbler if you guys are interested in checking that out for any of your projects, if there's anything that you wanna polish up. If you wanna see more about my honeycomb and copper jewelry, I'll leave a link to coloradomountainliving.net to my shop so you can check out my artwork. This is what I'm selling in the summertime. So yeah, it's a busy summer for me. I'm, I'm out of the town half the weekends doing art shows and we're gonna be taking on the road next in July with uh, some trips further into the mountains and uh, it'll be a family affair. So thanks again, guys, for joining in. Fingers crossed for the bees of the summer. Phew, looks like it's raining already over there. Glad we got a chance to